Hi guys, Chuck here once again for thecheapbastard.net. And now I don't know about you, but my family likes to spend a lot of time in the outdoors, both in summer and winter. We do things like target shooting, archery, uh, rifle practice, even fishing in the creeks. Now when you go to your local hunting fishing store, they're going to try and sell you these long cylindrical tubes that will run anywhere from 40 to 60 to $80. I'm talking about the kind of tubes where you store your fishing rod in so that the line doesn't get caught up on the trees and the branches, the kind of tube you use to carry your arrow shafts in, and then maybe uh, something to keep your extra barrels in if you're out in the bush or if you're out in the duck blind and you got your extra uh, uh, barrels for your rifles. Just this type of stuff that just keeps your stuff organized and not hung up on trees and so you can carry it around. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not the kind of guy that goes to one of these old school uh, hunting fishing lodges where men wear tweed and knickers and little caps and drive there in MGs. Now, I'm a working class guy, so appearances aren't a big thing for me. I don't have to have a name brand logo on it. I just need a tool that gets the job done. So stick around. This time around, I'm going to show you how to build your own carrying case for your hunting, fishing, archery supplies that you can carry just about anywhere for under $10. Stick it to the man right here at thecheapbastard.net. Okay, the core of this entire project revolves around a piece of four inch PVC piping. Now it usually goes for about eh, $4 a foot in your local Home Depot or hardware store, give or take a few pennies. Now what I would suggest doing is rather than pay $4 a foot, save some serious scratch. Look around your local community, see if there's a construction job going on anywhere. I guarantee you there's going to be feet upon feet of the stuff being tossed out in the dumpster, left on the side of the job to be picked up and tossed out. Grab it, throw it in the back of the truck, throw it in the trunk of the car, ask for permission. I'm sure the guys won't care. It's getting tossed out anyways. Put it to good use, keep it out of the landfill, and make yourself an awesome project that you did yourself. We'll start things off like this. Taking our arrow shaft right here, I'm gonna use the width of my thumb at the lip of the PVC pipe. That's gonna mark the head of the carrying case. So we move along the back here, and using our paint marker, $2 at any hardware store, we're gonna mark the back end of the case. Now we're gonna take that over to the bandsaw and split this thing up. You can use a coping saw, a hacksaw, it really doesn't matter. Okay, we're in the shop now. Let's get this baby on the bandsaw and get her cut down to size. Always remember to wear your safety glasses, kids. Nothing fun about being blind. Let's get her done. Okay, we're back in the garage now and all the hard work is done. So what I've done here is I've put a little a vinyl end cap on the end of this PVC pipe that we picked up. And uh, we take our arrows, toss them inside here, break for the storage, take them on the road. I got another PVC, another vinyl end cap here. We just slide it on the end here, just like so. Each of these vinyl end caps cost me about a dollar, maybe a dollar and a nickel each over at the Home Depot. And now we're in business. So you don't have to be an outdoorsy type or a hunter, fisher kind of guy. You might be a creative, uh, artsier type. Either way, if you have something to get a roll up or store and keep from getting destroyed in transit, put one of these together. Maybe you're shipping something across the country and uh, you don't trust those cardboard tubes. Why bother? Put one of these together for the cost of what? Two dollars and fifty cents. We're on our way. Thanks again for watching, guys. And you know how the saying goes: the more you know, the less you need.